Oh shit, okay, I've only just started it. That's loud. Welcome to Amnesia, The Dark Descent. What follows is a couple of quick messages on how to get the best possible experience. It's gonna be like, turn the lights off. Turn your headphones up really loud. Shit like that, the usual. Amnesia should not be played to win. Instead, focus on immersing yourself in the game's world and story. Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting that. I just forewarning you guys, I know nothing about Amnesia. I know it's a horror game, um, and that's about it. I literally have no context as to what I'm about to dive. I, I understand that it's a very well-respected game among the horror community, and it's just a very good horror game and game in general. And it's incredibly, what it's saying here, immersive and uh, scary. And um, just so, for those of you who are pro seeing my channel for the first time, you just want to watch somebody get scared, you're going to get that because I am, I hate this music. This is actually terrifying. Um, I am so scared of horror games in general. So... One of the recommendations was Alien Isolation, and I've played through about half that game before, and I stopped playing Alien Isolation because I was so scared that I literally could not move forward in the game, and I was dying a lot as well, and it, I was just crying in fear, like, literally. Um, it was it was horrific, and um, I've grown a lot since then. Not physically, I mean mentally now. And... Um, I'm still shit scared. I still get terrified by things. As Subnautica showed you, I got terrified of the creatures in the ocean. Um, that coupled with my impending fear of the ocean, that worked out great for that series. But this, I have no idea what I'm getting into. So it might tap into fears I don't even know I have. Um, so this is going to be scary. And what I really like about this is that it's telling me to get immersed and get in the game's world and story. So let's continue. Do not worry about when and how to save during gameplay. The game will take care of that for you. When you want to leave the game, just choose save and exit, and then you can then use continue to return to where you... Okay, nice. The world of Amnesia is a dangerous place, and you are extremely vulnerable. Do not try to fight the enemies encountered. Instead, use your wits, hide, or even run if necessary. Oh, no! It's like Outlast! Oh, oh. So... I played through Outlast, um, or the first Outlast I watched. I watched the first Outlast because I was too scared to get it. Second Outlast, me and my friend James played, and that's actually on the channel as a playlist. So if you want to go and watch two guys get completely shit scared on a game, watch Outlast, the Outlast 2 playthrough. Um, it's terrifying. It is so scary. Um, anyway. So it's just like that. The interplay between light and dark is very important to the game, and because of this, it is vital to set up the gamma correctly. Use the slider control, yeah, yeah. Also, make sure to play in a dark room and wear head for- God damn it, I knew it! That's barely visible. That is all. Hope you enjoy immersing yourself in the world of amnesia. I'm so scared. I need to go and make it darker in my room then. I might as well follow the instructions. Oh god, it's really dark. Um Hmm. This is gonna be uh, Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Right, so um if I was playing this by myself, I would play it completely um dark, but because it's YouTube and I want you guys to see my face, I've just got my lamp on on my desk, and that's it. Um, otherwise, you guys would barely, you could barely see me, and uh, it's not that's not the pleased, it was a pleasing experience. So, <sighs> I'm so I've never played a horror game like this by myself all the way through. So, I don't know why I'm playing a horror game. I really don't know why I chose it. I was thinking about like The Last of Us and. So, but I was, you know, I went for, like, probably the scariest thing on the list. So, I'm going to hate myself. It's really loud as well. If the volume's a bit off, guys, then please do tell me. Ooh. Because, oh, I might have to turn it down. That's really loud.
That's the profile. Okay, sound. Right, that's quite loud still. That was stupidly loud to begin with. Um... I was so scared. Yeah, I don't know why I picked a, uh, a horror game, but we're doing it. We're getting in this, and you never know. I may never finish it because I might be that scared. But um, if the volume levels, uh, if like the game's too loud or I'm too loud, um, please say because um, I can then change it on the, in the next part, and it'll make it a bit nicer to listen to. Anyway, I should I should probably give a headphone warning at the beginning because I scream quite a lot when I'm when I'm scared of getting chased, especially when I'm getting chased. Just just saying, my number one fear in games is being chased by things, something scary like the Reaper in Subnautica, that I was beyond belief scared, like the Berserker from Gears of War, those sort of things. I absolutely despise that sort of thing. Um, so. And I scream a lot when I get scared. So, headphone users, beware. <sighs> this is going to be completely uncut as well. All these parts are going to be completely uncut. I'm not sure how long I'm going to record for. Um, I might do hour-long episodes. Some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at, at uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is... is... I am Daniel. Okay, yes, Daniel, London, Mayfair. Okay. I don't know, we're like in a castle? Or a very, like, medieval building, it feels like. A memento has been added to the journal. J for quick access to mementos. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Do we have it? No diaries are here, no notes. Follow the liquid source. Okay, will do. Let's just... I'm not sure, like, if there's resources you could pick up. Hold down left mouse, move the mouse in order to move the door. Right mouse to throw the door open. Picked up tinder box. Ooh. Used to ignite light sources in the environment. Okay. Okay, spaces jump. God, okay. Let's go. I'm ready. Let's get immersed. Everybody do this with me. Get your headphones on, turn the lights off, and join me in this. What the fuck's happening to me? The fuck was that? That sounded horrible. Hello. Oh. When grabbing it up, press right mouse to throw it and hold down to rotate. Ah, okay. Oh! <gasps> <gasps> 
I'm so on edge right now. Tinder boxes are used to light candles and other light sources in the current yeah. Why am I like leaning? What the fuck is that? I heard something moving. Oh! Oh, what's happening? I don't know what's happening. What just happened? Oh, fuck off. Oh, just seriously, fuck off. Nothing in here. I don't want to go in the darkness, thank you. Huh. Open that shit. It's a good thing I got a big mouse mat. Don't breathe like that. Beware when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes or search for other sources of light. This is so scary already. The atmosphere is like through the roof. Old archives. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel rema remained hidden in fear. She would, she too would be punished. I might not be able to handle this game for two hours. I might be doing 30 minute parts or something because I, I could not handle this game for an hour, I don't think. Judging by so far. Stop it. Witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It could be increased by completed puzzles and making progress. The fuck is this music? Oh! What is happening? Do I stay in here? Like what? Oh, stop it. It's so bad. Just keep going. This fucking music. Pick it up! Whatever it is. Lantern. You have picked up the lantern. When filled with oil, it can be turned on. By pressing F. Oh my god, I have light. We've got loads of tinder boxes. That music. I hate like in horror games, like deep bellowing voices in the music. That shit gets my heart pumping. Okay. So what do we have here? We're still following this oil. We don't even know where it's coming from or what we are following. This isn't going to be like Outlast and we're going to have like the little piggy guy.
The lantern drains oil when it is turned on. To add more oil to the lantern, double click on the oil item in the inventory. We probably knew you some then. We were really low. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum. Find Alexander and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. One last thing. A shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Well, shit. So, Ashad, something's following me. Okay, so I already said I hate shit chasing me, and I've already basically been told that something is chasing me. It's gonna be the game in there, it's gonna be things chasing me. So where do I go? No mementos are available. So, we took some sort of drink and we forgot everything about ourselves. And now this guy's telling, and then our former selves is telling us to uh, go and kill Alexander? Yeah, Alexander of Brennenburg. So we hated him before. Must be for good reason. Oh, shift to sprint. That's good to know. We have no mementos. It won't budge. So we're not meant to go that way, okay. On our way back then. Oh, it's just the atmosphere is like giving me goosebumps, honestly. Do we need the lantern now? I'm like, I don't want to take it away because I don't want to go like insane or anything, but. Wait, so what's happening? Oh, there's a lever here. It was a puzzle. Okay. Sleep? Is this something trying to tell me something? Entrance hall. The door slammed shut behind him and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. So how quickly- oh shit, my oil's going down quite quick. Oh, he's telling me to sprint now. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the- what did you call it? The inner sanctum, my most precious chamber, Daniel, and it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, 
It lies beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. But I want to go and explore. So... We still have no mementos though, so I'm we assuming we need to go down there, right? Oh It is a it is tough and pliant, it can't be torn by hand or tools. Some sort of organic tissue blocks the path to the refinery. Can it be dissolved? Okay, so we need to go and get some sort of acid. Ah, oh, yes. I'm not sure, like, how sparing I need to be with the oil, but, like, we're really low. We don't really have much at all, so... I'll just try and keep it in my pocket as much as I can. What's that noise again? It's like a hiss. It's getting louder. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, definitely looking around is the best thing to do. Anything underneath the stairs? I can hear so many noises. Laboratory, we could probably go and make an acid there, but I want to go and explore a bit to other places. Wine cellar. I don't want to go into a cellar, no thanks. Even though this place is already... It just... The way the setting, it just makes it look so... Ugh. I was just in there. Is there something down there? Archives. Is that where we came from? Not where we came from, but have we been in the... Or was it the old archives we were in before? So was that to signify me, hey, go down there, go towards the screaming, or was that telling me to stay away from it? I'm assuming it meant, like, go to it. But I can't be sure. I mean, we might as well go to it. It's tell The laboratory would be where I think to go. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consultant in Constantinople. So that woman's being chased and killed. That means something's down here. Sanity, a slight headache, health, all is good. I heard something else from down there. I wish I had a heart monitor right now just to tell me how fast my heart was beating. The fuck is that screaming? Oh, 
Fuck it, I'm keeping the lantern up here. I right, get back. Oh, I can't open these. Oh, this I can. alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae, vitae. I have no idea how to pronounce that. The former compounds lack the potency I needed, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and orpiman are a given and the cu cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua... Did he say aqua regia or aqua regia? I can't. Fuck. Instead of aqua fortis, in hope it will produce a more... E an more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and is highly acid and proves impractical to put any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violent to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use this recipe, but I'm not losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Why is shit shaking? One day I'll return if it wasn't for me. If was it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better. I can hear footsteps. Why can I hear? I'm literally, I can't listen to that. That is terrifying. Chemical relocation. The lack of a chimney to properly w vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed that combining four chemicals, yeah. Some sort of organic tissue, yeah, okay. So we need to go to the wine cellar. Stop it. That's above me. What is that hissing? Oh my Jesus. Traveling to Dover meant going through Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of family. So the wine cellar's down here. It's locked and will not open without a key. Find the key to the wine cellar. Piss 
myself. Maybe we could go and find the archives. Maybe they're in there. Maybe it's in there, sorry. Oh, Jesus. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Okay. So from what I'm getting right now, so as far as we know... They're standing in the light. To pause it, just so I don't... Just in case I get attacked. So, from what I'm getting so far from the story, we're called Daniel. Um... For some reason, our former self willingly drank something that made us f completely forget about who we were. And he said there's a shadow chasing us. And that we need to go and kill Al Alexander of Bergenworth or something like that. I can't remember the name, but... Um... Bit lot... Like, not, I'm not lost in the story. I get I'm getting everything that's coming to me, but I'm not putting pieces together just yet. I doubt I'm supposed to. It's only the beginning of the game. Sixteenth of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure the professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Okay. So we were like, um... An explorer, like an arch like an archivist of Arch is that the right word no I don't think it is um, an archaeologist I think is that move the left stick what is that buzzing So we're still in a slight headache. The fuck was that noise? It sounded weird. Stop it! The sound design in this game is really good. I'm hearing it to my right side. 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. 
I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Is that where we are now then? No, it can't be. Because it's older than the 4th century, so... And... How is it... Places do not look like this back in the... Beyond the 4th century. What did I just do? I feel like I did an oopsie. Really? That was a disturbing event. Someone's playing the piano. It won't open, it's locked. Yeah, so... So we were, like, looking at sites and stuff like that. We were, like, a historian or something like that. And he felt a strange familiarity towards... Interesting. That is inside that room, whatever that is. I'm going the opposite direction. Oh, it's just here. So, okay. the noises the noise is the is the audio in this game it's so unnerving from the music to the the sound effects and i heard noises coming from in there Something broke through. <laughs> what was that? Something just came up on the screen. What's happening? 17th of May, 1839. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. My weakened body was heavy to carry, 
but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Wow. I'm really intrigued as to like the what the more there is to the story because he's like he says that he's like feeling connected almost to these like ancient things and that he saw a vision. Oh, for God's sake, that bloody piano. It's playing by itself. Oh, right, it caved us in even more. I didn't realize. Mementos, what do we got now? Must find a new way out of this area. The door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Um, I... Sure, up there's a no go. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wards. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us, especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Interesting. I mean, I can't really tell where it, in conjunction to that I am. Ooh, hello. Fragile, but not brick. Let's find something to throw at it then. Hello. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Dad. So, were we like... Ooh. So, uh, were we like hunting the... The shadow? Because he said it's like when the shadow arrives, like they were expecting it. Oh, there's a note there. God damn it. Local folklore. Oh no, not folklore. Don't bring that shit into this. Altstad and Brennenburg Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Altstad. I'm sure I'm saying that wrong, but so do correct me in the comments. Uh, deep within the East Prussian woods, for centuries there has been there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenburg. The quiet forest-clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be. Albeit the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local, and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversation since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists on the tales, but there are some motifs 
that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. This story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Years' War. It is said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the ground. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Oh, God. So, these gatherers... So they're, they're soldiers who got lo who abandoned their duty. So they ended up like twisting and warping into like these horrible revenants, like and these horrible things, these creatures. And then they have like an obsession, an ambition even, to steal living creatures. And you can hear them in the sack that they're dragging. That's horrifying. I like these stories. A visit undone. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa, or Gripper, I don't know if it's a silent name, the well-known er erudite, visited Alstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdoms past. During his stay, all, his, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of, of the time. One day he went to investigate a burrow in the northwestern glades, only to ever only to never be seen again. I nearly yawned then. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods and what happened to him? Interesting. The Immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives in a reclu lives a reclusive life with his family at his castle nearby Alstad, and like most of the noble birth, rumours are, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander. <gasps> yeah, yeah, sorry guys. Um, it was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remain popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage, therefore the birth and death of Alexander ha and his offspring have never been fully recorded. This has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago, lived through the time of occupation and joined the coveted order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Very interesting. Okay. Well, how do I get this open? A draft and faint light come from... There must be a way in. Well, yeah. Yeah, can I, like, break these open? Still got six tinder boxes. Kingdom of Prussia. Ah. What? I'm getting like all this fuzziness, like, I can't remember what it's called, but it's really annoying me. Is there like one of these slidey books that open it? Oh, 
Oh, wait, is there multiple books? Wait, there's more? Strange. Well, let's try it again. Is it maybe it's in like specific order? Something just broke. Was that actually something? I was starting to get a little bit comfortable. As soon as I get a little bit comfortable, it ripped me out of it. Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It's, a it's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would be a sense. It, it would, in a sense, solve both my problems. Something broke through the door. Fuck. That's the shadow. Well. Guys, uh, we have actually been recording for quite a long time now. I didn't realize the time was getting on. Um, I'm really immersed into this game right now. So, obviously, this is oh, the first episode is always an interesting one because um, it's just setting up stuff, isn't it, really? The story is building a bit of the characters and kind of giving us hints here and there as to what may have happened, giving us a bit of background, some of the folklore, which is interesting, given the whole setting, the, getting the vibe of the entire thing. And it's fucking terrifying. Um, that is genuinely like from the the audio is incredible for one. Um, because it's just I am so on edge all the time because of the noise and it makes and um, the story, the voice acting is really good as well by the by the sounds of it. It sounded really good um, to me, and um, yeah. So I am terrified right now. So. I'm not looking forward to getting back into this game. Well, I I am and I aren't. I'm scared to get back into it, but I'm looking forward to finding out more at the same time. Um, and I got a feeling in the next part things are going to ramp up because, well, something just broke through the door. So, And I think that's the shadow chasing us. Um, if you like this video, like it as you would. If you didn't like it, dislike it. And I will see you all in the next part of Amnesia The Dark Descent. Goodbye, guys.